Welcome to Two Poor Artists, where we're poor running for political office, but mostly we're poor at making art. My name is Benj. And my name is Isaac. And it is that wonderful time of year called campaign season. You know, mm-hmm. the three and a half years after the president gets elected, where we have to decide who the next president's going to be. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, because it's basically yeah. every president's main job during their first term in office is just to make sure they have a second term in office. Right. You know, like everything else takes a, yeah. a backseat and, to and that. And in theory, they might be setting up some groundwork for what they will do. Yeah, you know. but like it's always like I've got great plans, and it definitely has to take eight years. Mm-hmm. You know, like yeah. we can do nothing. Yeah, it's impossible four. to do anything in four years. And for that very reason, they have littered the country with campaign signs. It's mm-hmm. just you can't go outside to any intersection, any highway, without seeing a plethora of political posters. Mm-hmm. You know, and a, since you guys are all so tired of seeing this all the time, we decided we, decided yeah. we would talk about it's it. It's time for two more yeah. campaign posters. Mm-hmm. This is a little different than your traditional campaign posters, you know, mm-hmm. because most of those aren't made by artists, clearly. You know, just go look at any of them. They're boring. Right. They have big letters with, mm-hmm. like, last names on them. Yeah. You know. Or, like or they were made by hand by some old person that just doesn't even fully know the language yeah exactly you can always tell those ones too the homemade <laughs> craft store for mm-hmm. variety but the point is we have decided that it is time for us to run for office not president we don't want that job i mean that no. job oh gosh you couldn't pay us enough to have that job mm-hmm. we're going to be running for artist generals yes yeah the artist generals position is, mm-hmm. is uh, a newly appointed position right where we are in charge of Making sure that the country's art mm-hmm. is on point. Yeah. You know? the, the official position of the artist general would be overseeing the U.S. Public Art Services Commissioned Corps. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's what we do, you know, because the U.S. Uh, Public Art Commissions Corps is an elite group of over 6,000 uniformed officers who are art professionals, you know, and they, their job is to protect, promote, and advance the art in our nation. And, you know, mm-hmm. they're, they're looking for leadership. Yes. You know, these 6,000 artists just Elite go out into the country. forces. <laughs> You've probably noticed that our country is not in, in the greatest state. Right, like, yeah. if you ask anybody mm-hmm. in the whole country, they're like, is this, you know, is this as yeah. good as it gets? There, no. There's no one on any side of the political spectrum that thinks we're doing it right yeah, exactly. right now. And, and we've pinpointed... You know when this started mm-hmm. really. people people always are like oh it was the, with this president or with this president no we've pinpointed the exact time in american history where mm-hmm. things started to you know go downhill yes that was with the invention of color yes yeah you all probably have read <clears throat> you know the story the mm-hmm. history of color in the world right in the country you know mm-hmm. like everything go look at any history book yeah. and so i mean some of our young fo- followers may think oh wasn't there always color i mean for even even for us there was always color Yeah, we've lived in a colorful but country. go go look at any photo yeah any history book you'll notice like abraham lincoln's time there wasn't color old tv shows old yeah. movies there Nash, was no there color there was no color during yeah. that time and that's what really is wrong with the country now is mm-hmm. the introduction of color into the world mm-hmm. really set it on a downward spiral yeah and we're we're here as yeah. the artist generals to kind mm-hmm. of you know bring it back yeah to make and art it's great just, again. yeah there's just there's just no standard like anybody can call anything art yeah and so often it's disgusting it's not art no i mean go look at the portrait of the the <sighs> newly appointed king yeah the one of him like burning like, in yeah hell. like that one that king charles that's supposedly professional art no i mean we know that was England, not America. Yeah, so true. we would we have, have no, no say hope for them. But they still have but a like, king for if that say. happened in America, like it would be our newly appointed position. Yes. To prevent such a tragedy. To set things on the straight and narrow yet again for our country. Mm-hmm. Because you can, I mean, let's just be honest. If you look at a country's art, mm-hmm. you understand the state of that country. Yes. Right? Yeah. England just literally on fire yeah you know like just like that, burning that's dumpster what fire of that's what the portrait portrayed yeah. and that's what but we the know the problem is there's still too much colorful art in america mm-hmm. and if we really want this country to be a great nation yes a nation worth living in and being mm-hmm. proud of you know we need to bring it back 
to the black and white era. Yes. You know? I think everybody would agree. Like pen, we're thing pen ink. Yeah. Black ink, white paper, mm-hmm. ballpoint pen. And that's what we're that's Maybe what we're every once for. in a while a yellow background on the thumbnail. We are running what? No. <laughs> that's the art see our own art team, our own thumbnail team is corrupt. Mm-hmm corrupted by the country in which they find themselves Mm -hmm. black and white you know i'm sure that today's thumbnail is just a black and white masterpiece because i'm looking at you thumbnail team whatever they're cowering behind the legal team (laughs) yeah they can't protect you the point is we are going to be co-running for office Mm -hmm. as the two poor artists because it you know as the saying goes one is good but Two is. I thought you were going to say two heads oh. is better than one. Oh, two. See, as the saying goes, <laughs> two <laughs> artists' heads are better than one artist's head. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Two. Yeah. Two nose firsts is better than if you only had one. I'm not yes. very good at this, but that's the problem. But, we need to come up with campaign posters. Right, yeah. Hopefully you're not going to put any of I know, those right? like on that, the I was just spitballing some ideas there. <laughs> those, those aren't going to make the poster, I don't, mm-hmm. I don't think. you know. <laughs> but it is a huge responsibility right. we are willing to undertake. Mm-hmm. You know, We are not only professional. Mm-hmm. We are you know, just world-renowned, yeah. famous artists. But you know, there's just some things. We're willing to give up. All the fame and the glory, not the hotel, mm-hmm. but all the fame and the glory for political office. You know, there's yeah. no there's no easier way to be hated right. than to run for yeah, office. You get you you get the position mm-hmm. immediately half of the country hates you. I'm sure that no all, matter what you do. All those colorists and abstractists and mm-hmm. cubists and whatever they call themselves, they're gonna come after us in force. You right. Know? But we need to make sure. This fan base needs to make sure mm-hmm. that we win the position of artist general. Yeah, because for the sake of the nation, for the sake of America, because yeah. of course those colorists are going to be mad at us. Yeah, we're trying to take away their but, bread and butter. But that's because they're ruining America. They are. There are some things, some sacrifices that must be made. Mm-hmm. You know, I I look forward to when you and I are drawing the next president's portrait that Mm -hmm. will hang in the white house right see they had it right back in the day the white house yeah like they were halfway there Mm -hmm. you know but when we get to yeah when we get to draw the white White house the black and white house yeah i'm looking forward to our redecorating scheme and our Mm -hmm. and our portrait of the next president Mm -hmm. and you know we'll we'll probably get to design stamps for the nation right important go look at any stamp all stamps Mm -hmm. are like colorful and gross yeah weird they used to be Black and white. You show me a country stamps and I'll show you the content of their character. <laughs> you know? If it's black mm-hmm. and white, there's hope. Do other countries have stamps? I think they must, right? Because everyone copies America and we have yeah, stamps. Yeah, I guess that's right? true. But How else would the stamp collectors collect them? Yeah, right? Like if you were only collecting for one country, that would get boring. Mm-hmm. Right? Maybe. I don't know. I've never tried to send a letter in another country. In <laughs> fact, I've so rarely ever tried to send a letter from this country mm-hmm. in this country. Yep. Well, we always drive by the uh, post office, and I'm always like, why are there so many yeah, people I'm always going in and out of there? Snickering at those <laughs> letter senders. <laughs> like, look at them, and they're licking their stamps. <laughs> A bunch of stamp lickers. <laughs> stamps don't need to be licked. <laughs> they're doing it. <laughs> you know, for, like, for old times' sake. Yeah, I mean, most of the people are old enough to where they don't remember you know, self-adhesive stamps. <laughs> <laughs> they don't remember them. <laughs> well, I mean, they, no, they do. They, they, grew up in a time before when you had to win stamps you know so they still do it out of (laughs) habit yeah (laughs) it's a hard habit to break really it's really rough though when they're already Mm -hmm. sticky and you lick it and now you got a tongue full of stamps (laughs) you can always tell (laughs) you know when talks to you in their mouth just like they're just spitting stamps at you (laughs) it's really quite something still stuck in the on their tongue (laughs) well i mean they're like it's just like every every couple of words, one just like flutters out. <laughs> but we're not stamp collectors. No. We're artists. And it is time to, I mean, because you really can't. We're also not making stamps. I'm pre- no, we're just not in making... case people forgot what rabbit hole we, we came from. Once we become uh, 
the artist generals, we can have a whole video on the new national stamp mm -hmm. and the new national. We'll, we'll, we'll draw yeah. the president's portrait right here. And that that's one of the benefits of us being the uh, the artist general as opposed to some random person. Yeah, because you guys will always at least once a week be up to date on what's going on and in the art. World. You're probably thinking, well, who's the current artist general? It's actually a newly appointed position, mm -hmm. so there yeah. isn't one, right? Right. We will be the first. Yeah, and we will be the first political position of any kind, I think, to have a YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. You know, we're like, we're keeping you up to date yeah. on the every current week, state of art. Every of the week nation. you get updated. Yeah. You know, like, here's the new national symbol. <laughs> you know, it's like a bald mm -hmm. eagle because it's yeah. already black and white. Right. See? <laughs> like, the founding fathers <laughs> knew what no, they were yeah. doing, guys. Yeah. Like, it come was, on. It was good. Yeah. And now it's bad. That's yeah. the point. That's the whole point. We're bringing it back. Yeah. Bringing it back. Back again. Guess who's back? And some people right now are yelling at their TVs or their phones, you know, out in public. Yeah. Everyone thinks they're crazy because they're like, but guys, paintings have always been in color. See, this is the thing people miss. Uh, no, they haven't. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Color was invented. Like, d just get this through your head. Color is not, it has not always been. Right. You know, it, it used to be black and white. It's true. Again, look at any history book. Any history book, any black painting. And white. The paintings like, were colorized yes. in the great color movement. I think everybody's kind of aware of the great color movement because like everything on TV was in black and white and then suddenly those same shows were in color right. because they took the black and white and they added color. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, this is the same like thing. Like once that color happened. was invented, they added it. This is the same thing that happened to all the famous paintings of the world, like Van mm -hmm. Gogh. Monet, like these were mm -hmm. in black and white, and then someone during the great color movement, right, came through with their pens and their inks and their paints, and they mm -hmm. added color to what would have been sort of like um, masterpieces. Yeah, now they didn't use pens, right? Not on, uh, not We've always. Perfected that they, in the they did era. use, they often used paint, you know, uh -huh. black and white paint with their brushes. Yep. So, like, this whole screen is the poster, right? So, I don't need to... I'm not going to add, like, a border or anything. Yeah, you don't need to. Unless, unless like, part... You know, like, sometimes you have those, like, ones where they have the border, and then they have, like, signs sticking off. Like, if you wanted to, you could have the border. It's, 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 it's quite strange, because, like, other positions in the nation we don't vote for. Right. Like, we don't vote for, like, a Surgeon General. No, that's appointed by the president. By the president. But the, the artist general mm -hmm. is uh, artist general, I should say. Yeah. We it's... have to be voted on. Right, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because otherwise, why would we be making a campaign post? Yeah, that would be just... We would just be sending an email to the president. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do one of those things where you like... Well, to both candidates, you know, be like, yeah, hey, be whoever, like, okay, whoever wins, you know. We're here for you. Yeah. I mean, it would be a separate email saying, we know you're going to win. Yeah. No, it's, it's a very pandering email. <laughs> it's, it's like, since you're clearly going to win, uh, we should clearly be the artist. Yeah. No. Yeah. But we're not doing that. No, we're not. Because we it's a vote. It is. Yeah. It's up to the people. We're telling the people. I that's think we you. have a huge advantage, to be completely mm -hmm. honest, due to our overwhelming fan base mm -hmm. you know all... yeah name one other artist uh -huh, that yeah. has any sort of fan base equivalent yeah. to ours uh-huh it's it's just uh we're gonna win maybe but the thing is if we don't have a campaign poster we have no chance yeah i mean we have to do this like like we'll win but only because i don't think people realize that like you can't win without a campaign poster that's yeah. why they're so desperate to get them right on and they're, uh, they're everywhere like think about it you all know in your head the mm -hmm. picture of the poster of the person you're going to vote for right like yeah. you totally pay attention to them mm -hmm. they don't all just eventually start blending into the sidewalk and you just get annoyed mm -hmm. by the overwhelming crowdedness of the intersection yeah no because like of that you probably don't even know the face of the person you're going to nope, vote for but you know sort of but the you last know name. but you know the poster because that's literally all that matters. Mm -hmm. um, oh, this E. See, I would go back. I would, I would, like, people are probably like, why are you putting more time and, like, study into the poster? Because mm -hmm. this is how art is done. Yeah. You have to just let the art lead, let mm -hmm. the pen lead, let yeah. the ink lead. If you're taking more than 15 minutes yeah. on a picture, is it even art? If you see a artist general poster on the side of your local street mm -hmm. and it looks 
like it has straight lines and looks like more professional Mm -hmm. that's how you know not to vote yeah because they didn't do art they're not doing art they just like hired a computer person and yeah they just it's not art typed it into a computer anyone can do that and i mean if you are going to use a computer at least use comic sans or something yeah the most noble of fonts yeah that's what president washington would have wanted but i mean you it should be hand drawn with a pen white paper every poster don't even co- don't don't even like draw it and then put it into a computer and have it pop out a whole bunch no. like each one needs to be lovingly crafted indeed and that's how this is going to be you know one poster to rule them all mhm yeah so i mean we're only going to put up two posters so make sure you get to the right street corner yeah but that's all we need and yeah, do you need more than that all right I, I'm clearly got the message. Vote mm-hmm. poorly. Right. Yeah. You know, like because that that's uh, that's catchy, right? Mm-hmm. Like what? Vote poorly for what? You know, <laughs> like I'm trying to vote wellly. Yeah. You know, like goodly. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to write swelly, but no, poorly. Yeah. Vote poorly. Not necessarily for any position, but like for this one at least. Uh, I think we should probably demonstrate some art on this poster, not mm-hmm. just words. Oh, yeah, of uh, course. So, like... Like, they need to know what, what they're voting for. Uh-huh. And if they see poor art, they'll they'll like it. Mm-hmm. So, like, what's the poor... Like, do I... Hmm. I could just draw anything, really. Yeah. You know, like, it. I could do just, like, uh, some fruit. People like fruit. They kind of expect this, I think. Like, like a fruit bowl? Yeah, but just like fruit. Mm-hmm. Know, like those are clearly grapes. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, you didn't catch on to the what you were supposed to say there. Like, oh, look at that leaf. Little fig leaf on the grapes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's how it works. You transplant fig leaves onto grapes. Right. Because you don't want them to feel naked. You want to give them the Adam and Eve treatment. Mm-hmm. Fig you leaves also, all those Greek people need, need them for their grape leaves. Mm-hmm. Can Which I do is a... one of the worst foods I've ever had. I'm not going to draw our pictures on here. I'm not going to draw our pictures on here. Okay. Because as we've already clearly stated, most campaign posters don't have people's faces on them. Mm-hmm. Except for those people that run for office and have like them and their whole extended oh, Mormon yeah. family. Right, yeah. You need you to know? know, hey, look at us. We're all blue-eyed, blonde. Yeah, it's they're clear, <laughs> like, like whole only, family. only Mormons. <laughs> That are running for office, mm-hmm. I think. And that. there's like 20 there's of like us. Eight, yeah, there's like 22 <laughs> of them. And they all look like clones, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah. They're all dressed in their in their Mormon Sunday best. Mm-hmm. You know, and like that's that's not bad. Yeah. Like, you're I like, mean, I'll, I'll probably vote for them. There's a family man or yeah. woman, you know. Like that's, that's decent. Yeah. But not us. We're not going to mm-hmm. draw our faces. I'm just going to draw a face. The average American face. Mm-hmm. You know. Yeah. My favorite of the campaign posters, though, are always the ones that are like for the propositions or questions. And you see two signs, and they're like, "Vote yes for this because it will reduce the money." Vote, vote yes for this because it will do the exact opposite of what we just said. And you're like, "How does the same thing do do the opposite?" It is you a know? bit confusing. How 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 does it give more money to us and also more money to the businesses? Mm-hmm. It can't it can't do both. It can't. It's very, like, all the, I don't know how it works in your state, but here it's like, vote for question six. Mm-hmm. Vote for proposition 192 and a half. Like, yeah. And you're like, I don't know what those are. But then they, right. Yeah, they always have some, like, the, vague like Like rates. one sentence, like, thing. And you're like, well, that sounds good. And then you see another one that's like, vote the opposite for the same reason. Or vote the same for the opposite reason. And you're just like, that's not possible. Like, someone's someone's lying here. Like you know. Those are those are my favorite posters, because it's just I like knowing that I'm being lied to. I also it, it's nice when that. it's nice when it's obvious. Yeah, it's real clear, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, I think our poster is going to speak for itself, though. Or at least mine. Yeah. Is, you know, vote yeah, poorly. We're, we're not lying. Mm-hmm. We're going to do exactly what we say, which some people don't agree with. We're going to get rid of color. We're going to. We're going to change the definition of art to be what it should have always been. Yes. 
black ink on white paper. Anything else is not art. It's something else. Every museum is going to have to either change what they have or, or change what they call themselves. It's very true. I feel like it has to say what we're running for. You notice how that like it slightly goes up as I go. Yeah, it's not straight. They can tell I didn't use mm -hmm. a ruler. Right, that was on purpose. Yeah, and by on purpose, I mean it's just the best I could it's do. It's just how it happens. It's how art works, right? Vote because poorly. you actually didn't use a ruler. Mm -hmm. What else can we put on here? I put like a little American flag up here mm -hmm. to show what our, what our values are. Now the real question that I have for us: Are we going to change? Are we going to change the American flag? I think. Well, like, what do you mean? Like, do we it? have the We're authority? We're going to bring it back to how it was. Yeah, black and white. But the real question is, do we have the authority to do it? Because that's the other thing. So many places, like presidents, like how often do the presidents, like, say, we're going to do this? And you're like, that's not something the president has any control yeah, over. Like, you know, it's very true. Like, yeah. can, do we, as artists general, do we get to choose what the flag looks like? I mean, the pamphlet I read about the position was very vague. Mm -hmm. um, it was more like, you know, can help the art of the nation, inspire, yeah. you know. Right. What powers we have, though? You know, like what level of authority? Mm -hmm. Like, you know, like if we want to change the flag, do we have to go to the president? Do we have to go mm -hmm. to the art congress? Right. Is there an art congress? There should be. I think we, we can, might need to We might have to convene it. the first art congress mm -hmm. in America. Yeah. You know? Where we get, you know, we yeah, get like, like the, two artists from every state. Yeah. We'll need like California. the fourth branch of the American government. Yeah, like we'll, we'll, we'll be added into the Constitution. Yeah. Once they realize. <sighs> There's so much pressure on this, right. really, right? Like, because we're, we're not, we're not looking to change too much mm -hmm. about the country. We're just looking to bring it back to its roots. Well, yeah. And which will change things. I mean, I don't think people understand how important beauty is. You know, like beauty is what people fight for. And art is the definition of beauty for your country. Mm -hmm. Like the, the losing of what is considered beautiful is the main problem. Yes. Beauty with has America. Been lost through our arts. Just go to mm -hmm. any modern art gallery and you'll see the problem with America. Yeah. It's grotesque. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Like um, and because we've lost beauty, we've lost our soul. America's yes. soul. America's soul has been lost. This is a mouth. I don't know how clear Ooh, that is. It's not. <laughs> I'll add some teeth. Oh, it's so and a tongue. So bad. I think it actually helped a little bit. <laughs> I mean, you can tell it's a mouth now, but uh -huh. it's so it's, bad. It's like a Tom Cruise mouth. Where like there's a tooth in the very center. We don't want that mouth. No, but like it's okay. People need to be a little shocked when they look at your campaign poster. Yeah, I, I mean, like, this is representative. We are poor at art. Yeah, uh, let's, let's see. I'll give a famous president quote. Read my artist lips. Because <clears throat> you know, that was a famous thing a president said when he was running. My, my other question for us it was is, a lie, I believe. I've read that in the history books. It was like, read my lips. No new taxes. And then, like, the first thing he did when he got to office was like raise taxes. Hmm. That was the first President Bush. Well, see, learning things, at least the vague understanding I have of it from my infancy, mm -hmm. although I don't even know if I was alive. Like, was Clinton was president when we were kids, right? Like, when we were born? Yeah, I think so. Maybe I should get some other famous quotes on here. <laughs> My other question that I have for us is, I know, like, obviously we're going to get rid of color, bring it back to black and white. Yes. Are we going to require everyone to be poor, though? Like, you mean, like, financially? Like, someone, no. Like, someone brings art to us and asks us, is this art? And it's, like, perfectly straight lines, well done. You know, like, Tim. Like, Timmy comes and brings art to us. And yeah. it's like, is this art? Black and white, pen on paper, but, like, good. Well, here's the thing. Go back to the original art of our country. Like, mm -hmm. think of the first American flag. You ever seen pictures of it? Were the mm -hmm. lines straight? No. Well, It was, like, because, handmade. Because the flag was usually, like, waving. Well, no. I mean, I, like, when Betty Ross was sewing the flag, 
Mm -hmm. I think she was perfectly straight with her lines. No, she was like on the battlefield, you know, Mm -hmm. sewing it under the general supervision, not the Mm -hmm. artist general supervision. So, so like our flag, when Mm -hmm. we remake the American flag, black and white, is it going to have non straight lines? I mean, I think we'll just, we'll give a drawing and we'll be like, this is what it needs to look like, right? <laughs> mm-hmm. And then someone will make it and it, right. like, they'll be, we'll be like, exactly yeah. like this and it won't have mm-hmm. straight lines. Yeah. So I think it'll have to. Right. I think the other nations of the world will appreciate that. I think, I think honestly, the world is sick of perfection. Mm-hmm. You know, they're sick of the unrealistic standard that our flag sets. Right. Straight, line. straight lines. Have you ever tried to draw a star? Mm-hmm. Have you ever drawn a yeah. star that looked like the stars on the American flag? Mm-hmm. They're perfect. Right. Now, our nation is wonderful, but I think it will be more relatable mm-hmm. when we bring it back to poor, yeah. poor. Now, people. yeah, that's the other question. Like, one of us has to draw the flag. We have to draw all 50 stars. I've never drawn the American flag See, with I've all 50 stars. I've always felt stars. like maybe it should be 50 dots. You know, <laughs> just, that way yeah. children in school that are like, here, it's, it's, yeah, you know, draw the, Amer- I, draw I the American always, flag and you're like, I always How? dreaded that assignment yeah. when they're like, here, draw the American flag. And I'm like, I cannot fit 50 stars into this little square you no. gave me. No one like, can. there's going to be like five stars. Exactly. You know, I think there's just some things that make sense from an artistic, because we're, we're strictly <clears throat> artistic, mm-hmm. level, right? Like circles versus stars. Yeah. But then, like, would the Star Spangled Banner, like, we have so many songs. What? About stars? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do we need to, like, rewrite all the songs? No, I think I think there's something historic about that. Mm-hmm. Like, remember the time when our country had stars, had stars, on, stars its on its flag? <laughs> you know, like, people people still buy, like, flags with the 13 stars on it. All right, yeah. You know, like, they, they have some Because they hate of, Arizona. Well... <laughs> Yeah, that's and many other states. And many other, yeah, just, they're very they're American purists, you yeah. know, like, um, which, which I understand, of I course. Get that. Yeah, I would. I, there's a couple of states I would love to leave off of my flag. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, do we have to put California mm-hmm. on our flag? Mm-hmm. Like, that's a good question. You know, can we just black it out. Yeah. You know, like maybe the maybe the two part artist flag will be like forty nine. <laughs> that way, you is, can is always California the we won't, only we state we're we we say which one we left off. But everyone has a state they wish. Right, yeah. You know, so it's like, like was, because we live right next to California, so it's the state. Some people yeah. that live like right next to New I'm York, sure that's that, like, probably North state. Carolina is real annoyed that they got to share the Carolina name mm-hmm. with South Carolina. Right, you know? yeah. Like they're like, if only we were the only, we were Carolina, <laughs> you know? Yeah. Like, you know, that's, that's probably yeah. how they think over there. Right? Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm not done with this I'm flag sure. yet. Uh, this poster yet. I feel like there's just not enough art. Um, I'm also not entirely yeah, sure what if to we draw. get the position we'll have to draw flags yeah lots of and them. then have our fans vote on which of our two flags or do we both draw a flag and both are the official flag I think like we just co-design the flag okay like as we, co-generals we like draw as co-artist half of generals like you draw your like a little bit of the flag and then I'll come in and I'll dra- add something to it mm-hmm. you know be a collaboration okay that makes sense we need a catchy slogan. How about the choice is black and white. Oh, yeah. That, that's pretty good. That's pretty good right there. Because that's like, has a, there's a double meaning in that. You know, there's a, because it's all like black a, and white like art. A certainty. But it's also like, it's as clear as that. Yeah. You know? Like it's, there's only one right choice. Mm-hmm. Clearly. Because we have a campaign poster. Like, have you seen any other posters for ge- artist general? No. No, I and even not. though we're only going to make two of them in the whole world, mm-hmm. that'll be more than all the other people. Yeah, running. so we'll basically automatically win. Yeah, I do. I do worry a little bit about the lobbyists from Big Color. Mm-hmm. You know. Oh like, yeah. Once right, they see like, that we're running, like we don't have Crayola money behind. No. Us, yeah. You know? Like. No, we're poor. We have like squid milk, <laughs> squid milkers. <laughs> Of America money. <laughs> mm-hmm, yeah. You know, the ones that... that well, and, the and here's the thing. The ink. We may not have the the money of the the colorists, but hear me out, pen companies of, of America. Think of your business. 
if we get into office, mm-hmm. how yeah. much more? Like your job becomes easier. You can stop making all those colored pens, yeah, and just sell the the cheap black and white. We'll know pens. you've succeeded as artist generals when you can walk down the pen aisle of a store mm-hmm. and you can't see anything but black and white. It'll feel yeah. like you're in a time before color. Mm-hmm. You know, you'd be like, "Where'd all the color go?" Oh, that's right. There is no more on this aisle. Right. You know, yeah. You'll feel like you've stepped back in time mm-hmm. to the time when America was great. Yes. And yeah. everyone will be wearing black and white, and the flags flying will be black and white. Mm-hmm. Like we have a big job to do because, like, we can't <clears throat> get rid of color. It's no. here to stay. Yeah, it's it's Much not. To I our mean, chagrin. look at nature. They've uh-huh. they have colorized it has, everything. It has gotten in everything. Are we happy about it? No. Do we accept it? No. Th- does that matter? No. <laughs> like, like it, it's it's mm-hmm. like, it's existent. Like. But we can do what we can for the art of America. Yes. Um, you got the, the mountains. Yeah, you know, I got a song. Like the song. Yeah. The mountains, red glare. Wait. Yeah. <laughs> Is that it? No, it's purple mountains See? majesty. Purple. Look at look at how ingra- we'll have to write a new national song. Yeah. Like we'll have to petition the the <laughs> me, the me, the composer general. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. like you don't think how much art permeates every aspect of our nation but it mm-hmm. does it really does right you know like it is just in everything and it's that's why our country's sick mm-hmm. and we're the cure yes we're the cure to the disease that ails us mm-hmm. you know art has color has just wormed its I mean, way in it's art that is the cure yeah, it's we, not, uh, we, we're the we're, we're the simply, doctor. We're, simply, we're the the surgeon we're general simply, that will. Bring we're the it. surgeon general of artist generals. Yes. You know, like, <laughs> but it, it is the surgeon general will be like, you know, eat your veggies, and we'll be like, throw away your crayons. Yes, <laughs> you know, do what's best for your children. Mm-hmm. Give them a black pen for Christmas. Because yeah. we'll be saving the soul of America. The soul, not With, the body, not like the surgeon general, no, like the concept of the soul mm-hmm. yeah with art because yeah. art is we will be saving beauty. not not to be confused with the spirit no, of america not, that's much different that's, that's just for the soul. pastor general yes <laughs> that's different office down the two doors to the and then to the left mm-hmm. he has like a the pews in his office <laughs> the, <laughs> just, the, his desk and, and the then pews, pews. <laughs> And uh, by desk, of course, it's a podium, a podium with a yeah. stool. Exactly. <laughs> he doesn't get a full desk. Can't be comfortable. No. Uh, we can talk about our office later. Uh, but I think you know. Yeah, we'll have we'll have to design our. When office. you walk in our office, it'll feel like you're walking into the 1920s. Mm-hmm. You know, like color. Yeah. It hasn't like made it, it yet. Like we're gonna need to invent some science so that when you walk in, your color goes away. What are we titling this? Because every campaign poster needs a title campaign poster uh, that's kind of what i was thinking but then you have to be able to spell the word campaign that's the google <laughs> <laughs> there's a c it's not one of those words you uh spell very often i mean do you really have to i don't think i like i don't know if i've ever spelled it who knew that campaign had the word camp in it hmm. you know like that's that's an interesting fact perhaps there's a pun there we could have thought about. We didn't really think about puns this time because we're, I mean, I haven't gone yet, I guess, but we, we weren't really thinking about puns. We were thinking about an actual campaign poster. Yeah. Not the title campaign some poster. Things, some things are just too important. Yeah. Because, like, you could do a couple puns with the word campaign poster. I wasn't thinking about that. Maybe next, in four years. Yeah. Once in the country's in a years, little bit, I mean, and we'll already be surgeon mm-hmm. or uh, artist general. Yeah, you know what this is missing though? A horse. <laughs> oh, I realize. I usually I don't add just anything gotta, to it after. Just gotta come in from the side. That sock puppet horse you always do. That's just an oven mitt. <laughs> He's a happy oven mitt. <laughs> Just saying vote. I mean, 
people like a, a mascot. <laughs> mm-hmm. And that's ours. Just imagine our uh, followers with their oven mitt horses mm-hmm. at our rally. You know, as we're drawing. Our rally is really just going to be us like up on uh, up on stage, like with a canvas mm-hmm. and a pen. Right. We, like, we'll be like, vote for us. Back to the art. Because we're, yeah. you know, we're all about the It'll art. It'll just be a giant poster mm-hmm. behind us. Yeah. And whoever comes can ask us to draw one thing. See, like, what's, and the, we draw it. what's the eight year plan for us? You know, because like the first four years, we have to save the soul mm-hmm. of America. Right. Yeah. I think after that, we have to redecorate the White House. Like, we have to, you and I, mm-hmm. on the outside with our pens. Yeah. Like, that'll be like a year at least. Right. Like, year five is just the are year we, the two we, poor artists redesigned, the, like, drew on the White House. Are we doing it, like, tattoo style? You know, yeah. just co- coding it with, Like, we're just filling like it random with as many art? drawings as, as we can. Okay. Not looking ridiculous, you know? Yeah. I, li- I like it. Yeah. Uh-huh. Maybe we can I'm get gonna, the president. Save maybe we can get the president here. to get a tattoo of our art. And by a tattoo, I mean they come to our office every day and we redraw it on them. <laughs> yeah, like not a real tattoo. No, because that would be you know we're not tattoo artists. We are just poor artists, and pens have to be involved. What? Well, I like prison tattoos use pens, right? They do. But again, I'm not I'm not looking to permanently change the skin of the president yet. <laughs> I don't know. I might I might be just a little bit interested in doing that. Maybe it'd be an interesting flex as the artist general. <laughs> like that president has our mark permanently. Has the this you know? Because like if we can really get the president to back us, imagine the budget we could have for ballpoint pens. We could send a like we could send ballpoint pens to every child in America. If you vote for us, we promise to try really hard. See, like, you shouldn't make promises you can't keep. We will try really hard to get a pen in every, in the, in the hands of every American child and grandchild. You know? It'll be great. Yeah. See, and here's the thing. Like, most, most people would be like, oh, that's what, a hundred million dollars easily could yeah, promise what's that. What's the soul like, of America worth to you people? Like any president has promised you things that would cost way more than that. Yeah. We're not even saying we can promise that. We can only say we'll do our best. Yeah, exactly. Because we're honest. It all comes down to like the lessons we teach and the art we do. You know? Two Poor Artists as the YouTube channel will be very helpful in instructing the people in America on like how to... But like the thing is people... We don't have the authority behind us yet. Sure, we're the two poor artists. Sure, we're the only real artists that I'm aware of. Mm-hmm. You know, like, but, but people don't yeah. listen to us yet because we don't have an official, we're not generals yet. Mm-hmm. You know, like, think about that. Artist generals. General sounds like you need to listen to that person. They've got, like, medals on their chest. Mm-hmm. You think You think that's what is involved in this process? Like, we become artist generals and the president, like, pins a medal to our chest? Yeah, I, th- I think. Why else would they call it general, right? Yeah. Like how much military power? Like do we we're have? we're gonna it's a it's a uniformed, uniformed. Yeah. Like what is the? I haven't looked up what the uniform is gonna look like. Maybe we. I'm sure we they want us to the design uniform. it. Yeah, yeah. Right. They haven't told us yet. Man. Of course they haven't told us yet. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. It, it could just like straight up be like tuxedos. Those are already black and white. Yeah, they are. But right. like tuxedos. With a pocket protector? Mm-hmm. For the oh, pen. yeah. Definitely has to have a pocket uh-huh. protector. Multiple pens in it. Yeah. Think of... Like, I don't know why Bic and Papermate aren't sponsoring us yet and mm-hmm. why the pocket protector conglomerate hasn't reached out, but it's probably because we don't have campaign posters yet. Pro- that must... It's I only... like this Roman numeral style you're going for. It invokes the ancient Greek in my bones... Yeah, the weird the weird thing is the O, I guess, because I'm gonna have to do it like half. Mm. It's weird. That's okay. Art should be weird. You know? Yes. Yeah, I just that was just a moment of, of contemplation <laughs> there. It's gonna be great. Because <clears throat> like 
you know, when you when you whenever you run for political office, you also have to think of like beyond your term, right? Right. Like we we clearly our long game is to become hotel tycoons, tycoons right? Yeah. But so far, nobody's. I know this is going to be shocking to some of you, but nobody's really reached out. People ask me all the time on the street, like, "When's the hotel opening?" And we're like, Can, "Would you believe me if I told you that no one has come up and offered us a hotel yet?" Right. It's so bizarre. Yeah, but like, once we're generals, you know, mm-hmm. like people will be like asking us. There'll be like a line of people outside our office just asking us to open hotels. Yeah. So when we retire from the artist general position, having saved the soul of America, mm-hmm. we can just go into the to the hotel business and save the hotel industry. Right. You know? Yeah. Save save the dreams of America. Think about it. The hotel industry is struggling with like Airbnbs and stuff out there. You know? Mm-hmm. People aren't look people aren't staying in hotels like they used to. They have no reason. No. Can I can I just say this too? Of the last three Airbnbs I've checked into, mm-hmm. two of the three of them have had the owner's personal art on the wall for sale. Right. Now, the art used color and made me cry a little, mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. they get it. You know, like there's something there's something in all of us, born in all of us, that understands that where you lay your head should be good art. You know, people don't understand what good art is, clearly, but when we open up the hotel, people will get it. Yeah, th- yeah. Because but again, that's you... eight years from now. I'm assuming the artist general position is like, a four-year thing. Well, it, I mean, it's it's the the president appoints it. No, so I like, think I think you the president isn't appointing us though. We're running. Oh right, you're right. So like so, I know like, I know I'm comparing it to the surgeon general. Yeah, the surgeon general who usually changes with the president mm-hmm. because they can choose whoever they want. That's why this is so confusing. They kept Although, the general. Like, are we a general? If you're if you're we... so good, like like if you were such a good surgeon general that like the next president still wants you, yeah. I'm assuming you can still be. The Surgeon mm-hmm. General. I think the reason you have to vote for Artist General is because they like they want people to be involved. You know, mm-hmm. like name one yeah. Surgeon General. Like it's really hard. You know, like we we, we looked up Surgeon Generals because we're like, well, if we're gonna be part of this, you know, Generals Club, we should know about the Art Surgeon General, the mm-hmm. first one. But like we were looking through the list of all the Surgeon Generals from all time, we knew like none of them. Right. Yeah. Artist Generals. Yeah, but and it's because they weren't voted for. You know? Yeah, because we didn't have to vote one in. Mm-hmm. They were just appointed, and we're like, I we're guess someone's be, in charge. We're going to be the that. artists of the people. Mm-hmm. You know, the artists of the people. Artists yeah. of the people. <laughs> Three times for clarity. Once we're, you know, sworn in on a stack of canvases, mm-hmm. you know, and a Bible, <laughs> like. Yes. It, it's like one on you, each hand. Yeah, you rest the Bible on a canvas. Mm-hmm. Maybe it's a drawing of a Bible. <laughs> drawing of a Bible on a canvas. Yeah, yeah. Like I, I could see. This oh. is again. This is this is why it's so confusing. Like mm-hmm. well, the reason we're not so clear on this position is because there hasn't been an yeah, artist this general. This will be yet. the first time. There's so much we have to do. There's mm-hmm. so much to we fit. have to establish. What is this position? And save the soul Gosh. of America. Like it's too two things and then we and then we had to like help the next person who mm-hmm. takes over for us yeah. campaign did you know we almost decided not to run for this position because it's just such an immense hashtag immense responsibility yeah it's it was it's just, gonna take years of our life doing this yeah and like we'll probably look like the president does when they leave office mm-hmm. you know like we'll look like we've aged 50 years yeah but in, really in it's, the, like four years yeah. that they've or eight, uh-huh. but it'll be cool because we'll get lots of white hair, and it'll it'll contrast with our dark hair, mm-hmm. which will make us more, you know, of what we already are. Vote for <laughs> the. <clears throat> You're doing great. Hmm. The honey. Oh, the honest. <laughs> the honest two. That's the wrong two. <laughs> what is this? No, what is this? Honest to pornist. Yeah. Like that on- is a okay. That is a terrible word. <laughs> it's it's a pun off of that. It is a honest to goodness. 
<laughs> but it's it is a poorness. terrible word to say out loud. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this this poster is definitely interesting. But it rhymes also. The on okay, vote for the honest to pornist. <laughs> you you have to say the R in the end, like real distinctly. Poor nest. Yeah. There's like a pause. <laughs> um yep. that's us. Yeah, the honest to goodness. Yeah, but the opposite of that. Amazing how how much that doesn't sound like honest to goodness. <laughs> Uh huh. But it still rhymes, and that's the important thing. Because any you just rhymed true, est with est. Yeah. Okay. That's how rhyming works. Yeah, it is. You always technically rhyme. like you. <coughs> say not say running... two words that rhyme. Any two words. Clam and lamb. You just rhymed am and am. That's how rhyming works. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> we're not running for. You know, like I, I don't even know what you were trying to say. We're not running for grammar no, i'm just saying general. like like you said you just rhymed s with s yeah that's you're that right. is what rhyming is of all the is. things i could have i could have you know <laughs> like there's problems with this yeah i acknowledge that but it was not what i said <laughs> i admit that i'm sorry my my brain is just shocked at the lack of art mm -hmm. on your poster so far yeah and so now i just need to show examples of our art yeah, right. so that they know and i and i'm you not need to be able to trust your artist yeah, so I'm gonna draw Indian. a standard artist general nose first guy because they need to know what they're getting into. Mm -hmm. Nose first That's guy. Why I drew one? I'm just gonna do. I did a mangled hand and a nose first guy. Like, what's more us than our signature style? I didn't even attach the hand to the nose first man. It was just there. You got a pointy lip. Real straight back of his head. Well, there's gonna be hair. Yeah, I just hair covers a multitude of sins. I, I like I had to establish where the head is for the for the hair. I just can't wait until we get to address the nation for the first time. Mm -hmm. We're gonna need a cool name for our office, like the Octagon Office. The because yeah. like you know well, that's what's the thing. like what's like an shapes art... are a big thing in this country. You, know, you have the Oval Office. You have the Pentagon. You have the, you know, that's mm -hmm. it, actually. But, like, we need a third one yeah, to round it out. <clears throat> then I have to draw a horse. What's more? <sighs> so, like, on this side, you got the honest. Mm -hmm. This is the pornest. <laughs> I am so scared. There's so many <laughs> and, reasons. And horses have become a staple of us. Uh -huh. In a representation of, of poor art. Of poor art. Yeah. Like, there's nothing more. There's poor. nothing harder to draw, I think, yeah. is what we've really learned. Yeah. Like, we we talk about hands. Yeah, Every tricky. artist talks about how hard hands are to draw. Yeah. It's the one thing AI art can't even mm -hmm. figure out. But have you considered the horse? Consider my friend the horse. Every good horse drawing starts with that shape. I mean, it's still going to be a nose first. No, you're not going to do a dog horse, are you? I'm going to draw a horse. So far, it is the hose attachment you put on the garden hose. That's all I'm seeing so far. Horse. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Like... It looks like a toy so, horse. So here, they like built the body and then snapped the legs into place. So, I mean, here's like the a thing. Barbie horse. I'm not trying. Like you guys might be like, oh, he made a whole big deal, a whole joke about like this horse is gonna be bad. We just don't. I'm going. I'm trying the heart, my hardest. I'm putting every artist skill into my bone fingers i challenge anybody at home who thinks that we are faking how to draw horses on this channel to just try to draw a horse why is its throat so it's like a puffer horse <laughs> its throat no, this is its it's been chest. stung by a bee it's its chest it's not where the chest of a horse is located it's not attached to the mouth Maybe it is. I don't know. It's like the neck. It's, like, <laughs> it's missing a neck. <laughs> but it also has the top 
like the bottom it's part just, of the it's neck just, is missing. It's just a bit chubby. <laughs> like it swallowed a kickball. <laughs> And it's just stuck in the neck. And then this horse it's does... like a bullfrog horse. ...have its second leg. Sometimes I don't draw like that... Like, this must ribbit, <laughs> this horse. <laughs> it must ribbit, and then its mouth must shoot out water. <laughs> like... Yeah, but I, again, I couldn't do better. <laughs> like, I know this in my heart of hearts, that this horse... With a chicken leg back leg is better than anything I could draw. Horses have big back legs. And then, I mean... This is better than your last horse. It has to. Just, you know. Mm. Like, just... See, I didn't draw the sack of <laughs> horse. I didn't think America was ready. No, I think they need to know what they're voting for. <sighs> and then it still has the tail, which is not, like, part of the... The butt. The butt. No. Like, <laughs> like it should be. It's missing a leg. I'm going to do that other leg, or is no. it lined up? Okay, so this is good, because it lines up, up perfectly with the last leg. Or maybe, you know, there's some amount of the, the butt in the way. But You think they'll let us, like, teach art classes from, like, the steps of the Lincoln Memorial? This is where its eye is. Again, <laughs> I know this sounds like I'm being mean. But this is the best horse you've ever drawn. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's you know, disturbing you know in a Lovecraftian I'm, horror way. I'm gonna. I'm, I am it's, gonna. It's better. This than, other leg. Yeah. yeah, like the legs are the best horse legs you've ever drawn. The butt is disturbing. The face and neck and throat. <laughs> I don't even like. There's not words. For mm -hmm. the rest of the horse. But if you cover up the butt and the face, the legs are the best legs you've ever drawn. Hmm. Perhaps. Perhaps. But that's because I want people to vote for us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, this is good. Like, you can't set your... You know, politicians are always setting their expectations too high, you know? They're making promises they can't keep. Mm-hmm. I'm not we, making any We are promises. very honest in these These posters. are the promise. Mm-hmm. This is, and I think people will be a little shocked at first, you know, when we institute the the great gallery, mm -hmm. you know, but, reset where we go into the galleries and always, scrub the color off of all the paintings. That's always what happens when a big change happens. Yeah. You know, I mean. It's going to be painful. Because you can equate this to many great times in history. Yes. You know, at, when whenever you get rid of a horror Mm -hmm. there's going to be those that were so ingrained, you know, like when, when slavery was abolished. <laughs> I like, I like how we're going there. <laughs> how this campaign that we're running mm -hmm. on is, is, is as important yeah. as that. Yeah. When slavery was abolished, uh -huh. it changed the workforce in many ways. Yes. And the people that were ingrained in that had, had trouble. Yes, they did. And what I'm saying is when we get rid of color, uh -huh. There's gonna be people. Whole life yeah. is based around color. It's gonna it's gonna hurt some people. Mm -hmm. But to save the soul of America, yes. See, and this this is different. The slavery thing that was saving the spirit of America. It was. That was there more was, important. There were, there were morals. That was that more was morals. That was thing. bigger, more important. This is like a lesser e equal. Thanks for you know going and at least <laughs> clarifying that this is not the same. <laughs> Yeah, um, I should probably draw. It'd be painful though. Think of how ingrained art is in everything. I think we talked about this earlier. Mm -hmm. like, it is quite yeah. upsetting. Well, because like we did, we were even like thinking as we were doing this. You know, like I didn't really think of the American flag as a form of art. No, but it is. But it is. Film, theater, posters, album covers, mm -hmm. fashion. There's so many things for us to change. It's a good thing there's already it's a, a, a team of 6,000 artists. Did you know about that? The 6,000 artists yeah, that will be I, put in I charge didn't. of? We're going we're gonna to be their new boss, but You're, they already exist. Mm, that's a good, good line. Yeah. I, think, I think the first part will just be like a long instruction course on like how art actually works. You know, Because people have forgotten. We haven't. Mm -hmm. We know real art when we see it. 
You know, the other thing about the American flag is have you ever drawn change those letters? Have you ever drawn an American flag with have. fifty stripes? Not fifty stripes, it's thirteen stripes. Have you ever drawn an American flag with thirteen stripes? I think that's a little more realistic than fifty it stars. Is. Yeah, fifty stars, thirteen stripes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know why I said fifty. Thirteen stripes like that it's so many. Your lines are even more beautiful than the ones I drew. This is true art. You know? It's also going to make the poster a little harder to read from the street, but that's okay. Yeah. Really, we should get a big fridge and roll it out to the I mean, nearest intersection and just hang this on the fridge. That is the one downside to um, to black and white only. You know how it blurs together? Like, like of, it's it's nature's camouflage. Yeah, there's only two colors. Yeah, that's uh, quite an. I mean, if we if there has to be a downside, but think of all the things that can be expressed. It just takes more effort, mm-hmm. you know, more effort to express the same emotions and and contrast in ink. But that's what makes it worth it, you know. I'm gonna see if I can. Uh... Get 13? Get 13. It's practically impossible. It's like somebody put it through a paper shutter and then glued it back together. Real, like real, real dull paper shutter. Real art. Yeah. It's got a slogan. It's got art. It's got a flag. Needs one more. It's going right, right here. How cool is it, too, that there's like a co-position we can run as co-artist generals Mm -hmm. for the artist general position you know like i know there's like a president and a vice president but that's not what we're doing here we're running as co-artist generals like it'll be like who's the artist general of the united states the two poor arts yeah like it's and it will be isaac and ben it will be our like yeah it will be the two poor artists are will be each one half of the artist general but also separate like a like a trinity thing. We're both we're a hundred percent artist general and a hundred percent Isaac us. and Ben. Yeah. Yeah. Each one of us will be the artist the general. artist general. People will ask who's the artist general and they will have to say Isaac and Ben. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now I would have to somehow fit uh uh-huh. 20 more Again, stars. There's probably if you ask somebody to name all 50 states, you got what 30 there? Yeah. No one can name more than 30 states. Right, yeah. Right? Like No, like I mean maybe someone if, if who's one, like just learned it in school if might If you want to know what what 20 states you want to get rid of, just mm-hmm. make a list of the 50 states. Right. You'll get to 30 and then you won't be able to remember yeah. anymore and that's how you know the other 20 don't matter to you. Mm-hmm. You know? And yeah. It's going to be different for everybody. Yeah, because it's just like even like thinking about how those fifty states, like I've driven around America, yeah, but like, and it's like, but like they don't matter. But like, what has uh, what is you know Illinois ever done for me? Mm-hmm. You know, like what is what is South Carolina ever done for me? Yeah, you know, it's like yeah, what is what is it Denver, Dover, Dover, Denver, Dover? See, I can't even remember this mm-hmm. thing. Yeah, I know Dover is the capital. Dover is the capital of. See, doesn't matter to me. It's so yeah, insignificant. Don't I don't even know its name. Mm-hmm. Like, sure, there are people listening to this right now yeah. in this tiny little speck of a state. Yeah. Like Rhode and, Island shouldn't even be a state. Yeah, it's too small. Yeah, and some states you only know of because of how much everyone hates them. Yes, like New Jersey. Mm-hmm. You know, is like, that a no, whole state? It's a whole state. Hmm. The whole state kind of like new york's a whole state but yeah. the only part of new york and new jersey that people know of are the parts that like kiss each other next to the ocean right i mean by kiss each other i mean like they're really close to each other <laughs> like they touch no. yeah in like the a, lip area like a sloppy white kiss like that song no it's not how the song goes but the it point is how is, the song is not how it should go <laughs> there's a reason it was rewritten i like your campaign poster i'm gonna i think it's gonna do well for us See if I can remember how you spelled campaign. Camp. A. G. I, I failed. What is that? Is it a T? 
It's now an N. And why are there uh, two ends? <laughs> Uh, again, setting the expectations realistically. Like, we will be great artists. We will not know how to spell very well. The grammar general can come after us. Yeah. Well, it's not even grammar. But, like, when you spell something wrong. The spelling like, isn't general? That, isn't that, like, a whole separate... Like, the, the spelling general. Yeah. There should be a lot more positions. Like, I'm not all for, like, the government, mm-hmm. like, you know, having too much power. But having really specific jobs to help the people. Well, especially for certain things. Like, like uh spelling and um like here's the thing i think this is why people, people in high positions have secretaries yeah. but it's one of those things where people don't realize how important something is administrative things are. assistance like we're talking about how important art is but like people need to realize how important these small things are yes like what you think of as small like for example you're like oh language changes over time no big deal it is a big deal because the constitution was written yes if a word changes definition, that changes the meaning of the law that was written. That's a big deal. That's deep, man. If art changes, if beauty changes, yeah. that changes the values of the country. It does. People, people need to realize that these things they think of are you know, unimportant, yeah. vastly important. What you really should do, next time you go to an art gallery, go find art from before the invention of color. Take a picture of it on your phone and give it one of those black and white filters. Mm-hmm. You know, and you'll weep. Yeah, you'll weep at you'll, what has been you'll lost. You'll realize what has been lost what is true so... art. The what the artists originally made. Uh huh. I see. Like one of the first things I think we should institute is like we'll we'll call up Elon Musk and be like, "Hey, get your company to make glasses for everyone mm-hmm. that filters out all the color." Yeah, you know, like it just yeah. takes it all out. Like people all the time right now. They're like, oh, why is the Mona Lisa such a famous drawing? It's not even, she's not even that pretty. They it's not that good. They haven't seen it Look in at the it original in black colors. and white. Yeah. Yeah. You think Van Gogh's Starry Night is impressive now? Mm-hmm. People are always like, he's mastery of color. No, he was not a master of color. No, he was, he a, was master a master of shapes. of shapes and a master of tones and mm-hmm. grays and blacks mm-hmm. and whites. And yeah. if you're thinking I said gray and you're like, gasp it's because it's just black yeah. mixed with white right you know like i'm not a big fan of it no but like, like we don't do shade the illusion because you can't do that with a ballpoint pen yeah and they, they used Van paint was, they weren't yeah. they weren't purists no they weren't we acknowledge that but they were in black they're not white. artists by today's standards no yeah no. today's standards ballpoint pen black ink that's mm-hmm. it yeah but but ballpoint pens didn't exist back then they had to use quills and and brushes yeah. uh, and because of the nature of using a brush and a quill lesser equipment yes you sometimes got gray mm-hmm. byproduct and they took advantage of that byproduct but the good lord always intended that we would invent ballpoint pens mm-hmm. and bring forth true art yes you know we have so much work to do like mm-hmm. this is just the beginning campaign yeah. posters are literally the beginning Mm-hmm. of it's, this it's, great yeah. journey we're embarking first on. step together can i just yes. emphasize mm-hmm. we do this together yes you and we... i the artist generals yes together it's gonna be great mm-hmm. you know, nothing can break us up no it's it's too important the the, the two the two poor artists two it's poor not artists. like we can't be the one poor artist you wouldn't watch us if we were the no. one poor artist we're going to save the soul of this great Mm -hmm. my fellow americans hear me we will save the soul of america Mm -hmm. we will make art great again yes you just have to vote for us Mm -hmm. the two of us the two poor artists together see you next time bye as always we're surprised you made it this far into our video There's no way we could possibly ask you to subscribe to this atrocity, so we won't. We would say share it with your friends, but it's probably better for wasting your enemy's time. We're probably not going to get any better, but we will keep drawing. See you next time.